to look at our guest expansion now. All of those nations can join our coalition. And before we start, remember that you can subscribe to the channel to support it and get notified about all the new videos because there's tons of great stuff upcoming. And we're also heading to hit 90,000 subscribers very soon, especially that right now only 40% of you are subscribing. After very successful first 60 years of our Byzantium campaign and all of those terrains conquered, Today we are gonna embrace the Eastern Roman Empire with Dream. You might think that I will go as every other creator, ooh, let's go and rush formation of the Roman Empire. Well, I will be expanding in Europe, correct, but I want to actually focus on getting at least all of the terrains that were once controlled by Alexander the Great and even maybe go to India. A little bit different experience than a normal Byzantine gameplay. And first, uh, to achieve that, is gonna be the war, I think, against Dulkadir first, and then against Karakuyunlu to clear the borders around here. And this way, we're gonna take this beautiful piece for QQ to get border with the Timurids. So just peace out. And we're gonna get, yes, a new vassal. We love vassals, right? Let's go and release Ajam. That is having all of those cores on the Timurids. So on the Timurids, it's not gonna be Holy War, it's gonna be Reconquest for Ajam. But first, we're gonna go and fight in Europe again. As we also fixed our... Uh, more or less, we fixed our diplomatic reputation. I'm gonna start annexing Kraman, which theoretically is gonna take ages, but this is because temporarily Right now we have over 100% of our extension, which is decreasing diplomatic reputation. So let's just start doing so. As I'm ahead in the Diplotech and I have not bad mana generation, I also started annexing Syria, so I'm gonna finish those two vassals around the same time because they have the same development. As we will get a lot of decreased liberty desire for Ajam once are given promises on reconquest, I will already enforce religion on them because we want to convert everything to orthodox in the long term, right? And we already did it in most of the provinces in our country. Look, if I attacked Naples right now, Austria wouldn't help me. Eh, too bad. But I have a little trick to over here, which is of course using favors to ask Austria to prepare for war. This way, they are of course gonna help us and let's take Molise as the war goal. The amount of the troops on our side is gonna be far larger. We just have to go through Papal State and Naples and in the meantime defend or even conquer France looking at... Yeah, look. We could just go straight for Paris. But I would need to take both of the stacks over there. Let's just go and separate piece France first. I'm so sorry, France, but I had to do it to you. Right now I'm gonna take all of their money, that's not gonna be that much for us, 300 ducats, I'm gonna humiliate them, I'm gonna take war reparations, and that's gonna be it. Send the peace deal, and we can go peace out Naples. Naples is gonna give us almost all of our claims, except Napoli, and of course full money. That's gonna be a little bit of, I guess, expansion, but we are in December, so in January next year, I guess expansion of nations like Venice, Florence, Papa State is gonna decrease, and I anyway have truce with them. So just send the peace deal and let me just show you the player's map. It's getting better and better. B E A beautiful. Our ruler just died, and this is bad news. We have now zero stability, we have one, two, five ruler, which is complete trash. But he's from Habsburg, which means that the first moment Austria is not gonna have an heir, I'm gonna just claim the throne and take it over. It's also high time to take care of the Genoan and the Knights provinces, so they're gonna be finally in our hands. Let's declare the war. The art of war! Basileus, our great ruler, is gonna write a book on military tactics. That will give me 5 prestige, 100 mil points and 10 army tradition for like 20 countries. Or I'm just gonna get 25 mil points. Of course, just get this army station, I don't care, I'm gonna annihilate all of you guys anyway. Time to say goodbye to raids from the knights. Next steps, of course, after my next war with Mamos is gonna go do the same to Tunis and Morocco. Just get completely rid of their coastline, so there'll be no more raids on our country. I'm gonna maximize the gains over here, and that should be also giving me a mission. Recover Eastern Islands. 
Next thing will be to get all of those islands, which will be a little bit harder, but I think we should be able to defeat Castile with the help of Austrians. But that will be a little bit later because we're going back to the Middle East again. And by Middle East, I of course mean Reconquest War on the Timorids. 316R. Not really because I'm planning to take next idea influence or diplomatic. So this kind of an error is unacceptable. That's a thick Ajam and even thicker player's map mode. We are just getting started. Mr. Venice, of course, I want your mainland. That's gonna be some of this expansion, but I don't think any of those nations will be very willing to join the coalition. And you just take one less province and we need a little bit more of the war score. Our ruler just died, again, <laughs> and we have solo legitimacy, but look what just happened. Johannes Tenth von Habsburg is on the front. Six! Six, five, five! <gasps> and he's 19 years old. Isn't that beautiful? And I'm just gonna improve the stability for 66 power points and let me decrease the war exhaustion. Is Austria having an air though? Yes, they are. Five minutes later. Look, Austria doesn't have an air. <laughs> I think we are gonna prefer having some fun against them, right? Just the thing is, they have 92,000 of troops. Oh, that's gonna be tough, but we need to do it. Mr. Austria, let's me claim your throne. And <laughs> then I'll need to break the alliance and I'll have to defeat those. That's gonna be a hell of a job to do so. But we should be able to do it. Let me just break the alliance and now wait five years. For a truce to end, while in the meantime being improving relations with them for the time when there will be my personal union. In the peace deal against the Mamluks, I'm taking those provinces. First, let's get the mission. Central Anatolia, thank you so much. Recover Antioch, thank you so much. So give me the claims. And recover Alexandria will be the next. That will be done in the next war. We got the claims. We've got so many of them. Right now, I'm gonna go and feed Karaman with those two provinces. I fed Syria with those two provinces. And I'm just left with a couple of them over here, which will allow me attack Tunis in a very second. Why I'll be slowly getting ready to fight with Austria in over four years. I can also now take the Tech 10, which unlocks me this third idea group, which is gonna be as we want to take Austria's PU. I'll go for influence and then admin ideas. Let's take influence. Let's get the first two. And the third one will decrease the annexation cost of both of those two vassals. You can see that it also took Jerusalem in the peace deal. And this is because when it converted to Orthodox and get in level 3, it will be additional missionary and additional 3% missionary strength versus the heretics. To increase my mana generation, we have a mission to conquer one province from far. So let's go and declare war on them. And we need to keep expanding. That should be fairly easy where we just have to go and take their capital. Let's see how is the next influence idea are gonna decrease the cost of annexing my vassals, right? They're gonna both be finished with our current overextension around 1571-75. Okay, it's 75-71. Let's take this. Now that's 40 each percent and that's 1557 and 1553. I promise you to get rid of the raiders, so I'm gonna go and attack Tunis right now with also Holy War Castle's belly. Oh boy, what I predicted exactly happened. Ruler of Moscow died, and right now they have von Habsburg. We are simply gonna die from aggressive expansion, but this is fine. Claim the throne, and we're gonna break alliance. And right now we have having two very tough wars. Moscow is having 44,000 troops, also having 93,000 plus their pursuers and allies, so. Oh, theoretically, Moscow got an R, which is bad news, but he has weak claim and only 17.68 and 0.22 increasing monthly. So he's not gonna get an average claim until our truce ends in less than three years. So I can just now focus on preparing for the war with Austria, but first I want to fix my borders in the Middle East. And this is something that we really need 
for those two wars that are upcoming. A military reform, giving the midpoints and 20% morale of armies. So let me pick it. And actually, I could take this technology for the war, and I'm seriously thinking about that. This is the first stage of fixing the borders in the Middle East. All of those provinces are gonna go to us. And that should unlock us the next mission here. Just re-establish the theme system, which is giving tons of development in Constantinople. Most importantly, the theme system, which is plus 25% national manpower modifier permanently. So we have 90,000 of maximum power right now, and Constantinople is having 60 of development. For the war of Austria, I'm gonna take another Mark company, and those are already fairly expensive. Let's go with the independent company, which is gonna cost me over 800 ducats. Ah, oh, that's because of overextension. Doesn't matter, I have to go and take them already because the truce with Austria ends in half a year. So let's recruit them in Pest, and we are gonna get ready for the okay. gigantic it's time to declare the war let's get uh, one guy here another guy here and another guy here let's see the numbers well we are slightly outnumbered but it's not that bad and if you compare the army quality you'll see that all is having around 4.5 morale which is really decent so without a morale event that would be tough and let me just go and send both of those two stacks to take down Fair and Vien for the war call. And those guys, so let's try to Ultra Canton and that's gonna be super tough. In the meantime, I'm getting this stack to go and help with Split. And this stack, once they take care of the rebels, they'll start coming as well. This is gonna be the most interesting part of this piece. Deal. You see how much I guess expansion I'm gonna get on the whole Europe. And this is still with the age perk of discovery for minus 10% aggressive like expansion impact. Remember that it's gonna go down in 16 months, so if I want to still use it, I need to piece Austria in this time. Funny thing is that Austria is having 10 heavy ships, so that will not be an easy one to just go and defeat them on the navy. I have 3 heavy ships and 24 galleys, so we not use this one transport. Let me see, because I'm not so sure if we can win on the navy yet, I'm just gonna run away from not they're engaging on us, that's even more interesting. Let's compare the navy stats, so we have, yeah, with high morale we should, I think, win it fairly easy, yeah, 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 that should be, yeah, <laughs> what heavy ships, okay, actually that's not that easy, I've killed his galleys right away, but heavies were standing longer, but right now, we've lost a flagship. I thought that it's them uh, losing the, uh, the flagship, but that was me that lost the flagship. Far unfortunate, we have to rebuild the new one. And let's see the stats of this naval battle. They've lost five heavy ships, I've lost one. So I think it's still worth it, let me go and fix those ships now. In the meantime, I got a royal marriage with Denmark, and they got von Habsburg on the throne. But I won't be having an AE to take care of their throne by the war, so be counting to get a person in of them naturally. For the time of war, I'm gonna change my icon to the discipline and power, and then I need to remember that at the end, I have to change back to the aggressive expansion impact. Now we have some battles to do. Uh, those guys are gonna go to Vienna. No, they changed my seat. They have so many stacks around. We'll have to coordinate it somehow to win it, because if I just go with all the troops versus all the troops, I might have a problem, especially that some of my troops are still coming. And here I'm needing an advisor for discipline, ideally. Thank you so much. Now we have 120 discipline. That should be far better. And I'm gonna go and try fighting in Vienna. Because over here, maybe... We should try, I think, fighting in both. See, they keep changing their mind. That's the, the worst part. Let's engage with the independent army. For my manpower stack, I'm gonna attach the artillery as the reinforcement. Let's go. In Vienna, I'm gonna attack this 20k so they will not be reinforcing and should it win it here easily. Half the stacks will start reinforcing. Those guys are ideally also gonna reinforce. Otherwise, reinforcing here. It's gonna be a super tough battle, honestly. Let's go. That should be an easy battle here, yes. Free war score. Let's go and start reinforcing the fair battle now. I think we've got it covered. Hold your ground. Sure. Fight to those who fight. 
Just go and give me the war score. Thank you so much. <laughs> we have 20 war score. That's something, but it's gonna be super slow to keep increasing that. It's time to embrace the institution. I took 1% loans to do so. And I can right away take the mill tech, which is gonna give me a major advantage. Like, this guy's at tech 10, this guy's at tech 9. By myself, I'll be at tech 11. It's just so many of their armies going around. But that's all fine. Let's see what we can get out of it. Because I engage on this Bohemian stack in Brno. The hope to actually wipe them. And that's what happened. And at the same time, I took a lot of troops out of Vienna. So I can go 28th and attack them in Vienna and possibly also wipe them here. My choose with Moscow ended, but of course I'm not ready yet uh, to attack them. And this stack will just hold them off enough time to run away in a second. Yes, we can start running away now. They did the job. Uh, I wiped army in Vienna in the meantime, stopped the series of fire in Vienna at the same time. We have 33% of the war score already. Now we have another battle in Pressbrock. And over there I need to send my best leader because right now I'm fighting with 4-2 guy. And this best leader is gonna... Okay, first reinforce with the manpower stack. Give him 3-6. Then I start reinforcing with those mercs that needed to regain some morale. There it goes. And those guys definitely need some time to reinforce in general, so maybe uh, I'm gonna send them straight to the Praga port. Okay, there we go. There we go. We can uh, go and continue switching them down right now. I think after this stack wipe over here in Linz, I will be able to piss out Austria. Let me see if I am... Yeah, that should be an easy stack wipe. Come on. Just... Okay. Now we've killed... 200,000 of Austrians and their personal unions to enforce our demands. They're almost on... Yeah, they'll be on low attitude in a very second. And on low attitude, they're gonna accept it. There we go. By the way, we decreased the amount of the Austrian troops from 100k to 47k. And... <laughs> Let's change the icon first. Let's go for the improved relation and the expansion impact. And uh, then over here I wanted to, the improved relations guy. I'm gonna piece this out in December. And this way at least those that have I think 54 I guess expansion will not be able to join the coalition when I take this guy. That will be the safest way to do it. Let's wait till December. Okay. <sighs> I have no I guess expansion in Germany, right? <laughs> Are you ready for this? <sighs> Let's wait, 28th December, of course take uh, as much money as they're gonna accept at the same time. Sick. Of course there's new emperor and we got personal union on even more nations. <laughs> right, because when you PU someone that has PUs, you PU those others as well. So I got personal union for Austria, Bohemia and Hungary. Hungary is completely useless. And I want to abandon it, but at the same time we need to go take care of Moscow finally and look at our guess, expansion now. All of those nations can join our coalition. Some of them will be cancelled in January, so that should go past few days. Some of them left. Can I get any additional allies? Yes. Let's go get some additional allies. Okay, that goes the missions for Conquer the Balkans. Thank you so much. And we will fight the coalition war for sure. That, that's gonna be 100% coalition war. It is fine, we need to improve relations with Austria. Because if our ruler dies when it's minus 200, they're gonna break the Russian Union, but it's 29 years old ruler, so it's fine. Before the collision declares, no, I'm not gonna use the proclaim the guarantee exploit, it's for the week. I'm gonna go and deal with Moscow first. It's too bad that I only have one actual uh, diplomat to deal with it. Well, okay, let me go and take personal union over Moscow right now. The whole world is gonna hate us. Let's declare the war, claim throne. This one should be easier, they don't have that many troops. And let me go and deal with them. This will be also easier because Moscow is having Miltek 8. Remember, I have Miltek 11. As we have about maybe more than half the countries that can join the coalition already inside the coalition, I do a preventive attack. So instead of waiting for them to gather, create a coalition and attack me, I'm gonna attack the coalition in the middle of being formed. I'm gonna attack on Poland. You can see that they're gonna have over 200,000 troops, but that shouldn't be that big of a problem. And I'm gonna go for the cleansing of the heresy. So we'll need to win the battles. And let me set up the vassals actually for the supportive attitude. 
And let's go have fun. And that's for the collision. I'm gonna do what's called a pro gamer move. The preventive attack was actually a great idea. It's not only preventing all of those guys from attacking me before that expansion goes down. I will go down in some time. It's also that I can already prison out right away. You know why? Because Poland will be happy if just give a one, two, three, four, five provinces from Bohemia. I didn't really need those provinces. Right? We will more focus on getting those lands in a way and those lands. So we don't really know, need those few. So let's just get rid of the coalition by piecing out for those few provinces. Send a peace deal. And that should also at the same time drop our expansion around the countries or around here. Just wait for the month tick. Of course, yeah, the coalition is around 50 to 70 and around here. And it will drop before the truce ends. So this is just perfect. In the meantime, we finished annexation of Syria. Which starts fixing our borders further. Right now we're waiting for Karaman to be finished. I'm gonna also add only the trade centers over here to a trade company because we don't have that much of GAF capacity. That's Antioch reclaimed. Party health rate and diplo points, very good. And that should also give me additional merchants in the Levant Street company. Yes, very easily. Which I'm not really sure where to use. I'm slowly thinking of moving my main node to Venice, but we need to conquer more lands in Italy to do so. And now we are gonna use this guy. Ah, let's start with Crimea, where I can move it to Constantinople. Anyway, let's go and peace out Muscovy. And that's gonna be so beautiful. Telegraph's expansion, wait for it. Tick. Now, this is our diplomatic map mode. And. This is the Byzantine player's map mode. We're gonna start clearing those borders and conquering everything, but yeah, we are slowly going towards the wet dream of Eastern Roman Empire and the Byzantines. With integration of Karaman done, we got mm, such beautiful borders right now. Finishing influence ideas is gonna give me force limit from the vassals, unjustified demands bonus, Prestige and most importantly, plus free missionary strength. So right now we have 13.8 of it and we are just getting started. And of course a policy, which is cultural conversion cost and the reinforced cost. Reinforced cost is actually gonna be fairly useful and diplomatic relations limit. So we are no longer over it. From the Mamluks, I'm gonna get those promises that I need for my mission tree. And that's exactly what I'm gonna accept. Send the peace deal. And you will see, can I even... Oh, I could concentrate 12 lost development, 1 gains. No, thank you. And the mission is recover Alexandria, which is giving me even more claims on all around over here. And the next one will be restore the Pentarchy, for which I also need to do this. So more conquests all around here will be needed. But that should be that bad. We need to conquer Rome, of course. And restoring the Pentarchy is gonna give us plus two, another plus two permanent missionary strength. Our golden era just ended, but I still think that we fused it fairly nice, right? We have first great power of 2.3 thousand of score, and 1.5 thousand out of it is our own development. By the time that the truce of the coalition ended, see, most of them already cannot join it. In a couple of years, I'll even continue my expansion mainly towards Italy. We are super ahead in the admin tech and at the same time we still have plenty of points. So what I started doing, I started expanding like crazy with over a hundred of our extension constantly to keep expanding our Eastern Roman Empire. And it means that we are never stopping time to for a peace with Georgia. And look at this right now, the player's map mode and the great power score. Two and a half thousand and all of those terrains are under our control. I'm just starting thinking to do something similar to our Ulman campaign where we got tons of AI on whole Germany, but on the major powers we kept positive relations so they weren't joining the coalition and it was pretty fine. We could do something like it over here to keep conquering Germany, but I will think about it. Anyway, that's gonna be the last peace deal of today's session against the Timurids. So let's send it. Byzantium is looking even better. And that's what I promised you, going towards Persia and India as Eastern Empire, while at the same time controlling more and more in Europe. Of course, 
conquest of this and this conquest took a lot of our effort and I guess expansion, so I didn't conquer that much in Italy. But this is fine, for the next session we'll be focusing more on going towards Italy, towards France and maybe even Castile, if we would be wanting to go and form Roman Empire, which you probably know it already, wouldn't be big of a problem. Income is 115, which is damp shit low. To increase it, I'll have to conquer the Venice trade note and steer everything that I have into Venice. Then, easily in the next 20 years to 30, we should be able to achieve not 200, 300 income and that's what i promised you okay guys so i think this will be all for today so if you enjoyed this episode of byzantium campaign and you would like to me to continue it to go and form roman empire while at the same time expanding east to go to india remember to leave a like on this video and i'll see you very soon in another episode see ya